breaking news in the 2020 race this morning. A new Democratic mayor is entering the contest. Wayne Messa, mayor of Miramar, Florida, just put out this video moments ago. America belongs to all of us. The promise of America belongs to all of us. That's why I'm going to be running for president, to be your champion. I'm very proud of you. Yes. The same prospects of the American dream that my father was able to achieve. We need to bring that back for every American. Joining us now is Mayor Wayne Messam, again, the mayor of Miramar, Florida. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for being with us this morning. And just to be blunt about this, I think a lot of people are seeing this announcement and are saying, who from where? Explain. Well, good morning, John. How are you? You know, uh, John, I'm from Miramar, Florida, one of them, a major city in the state of Florida. I'm the son of immigrants. My father came to this country from Jamaica as a contract sugarcane cutter, cutting cane for 75 cents a roll of uh, uh, sugarcane, chasing the American dream. And I'm living that American dream. And, um, but I see that American dream slipping away for a lot of Americans. You know, I had an opportunity to play football at Florida State, national champion for legendary coach um, Bobby Bowden. Um, I actually um, started a construction business with uh, my wife and uh, we are actually a, a climate conscious um, business. And now I'm the mayor of a major city of Florida with one of the fastest growing economies. You know, as mayor, um, while other cities are losing jobs and manufacturing to China, we, we actually are mm -hmm. taking jobs away um, from China. Uh, we passed a living wage in our city. Um, I guided our city through Hurricane Irma. You know, I'm suing the state of Florida so local uh, mayors can um, be able to fight and advocate for gun control in their cities. And right now, mm -hmm. we're actually uh, fighting oil drilling right outside of our city. You know, so um, these are very important mm -hmm. issues that have national um, implications. And I'm looking forward to be that, that agent of change for um, the American people mm -hmm. and so excited to um, launch my candidacy to be the president of the United States. States. And just by means of comparison, uh, Miramar has a population of what, 140,000? Roughly? Yes, we're approaching um, you know, we're approaching 150,000 um, mm -hmm. residents. Um, we are um, a, a major city in, in South Florida. Um, we have one of the fastest growing economies and the reason, um, in America. The reason I'm bringing that up, Mayor, is because South Bend, Indiana, where Pete Buttigieg is from, and we just showed a poll showing him with major movement in the Democratic race, actually has fewer residents. That's why I was bringing that up. So Miramar is, 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 a, is a city that is growing with a significant population. I want to put up another poll here because CNN has asked Democratic voters the quality they most want to see and a Democratic nominee, and 49% say a good chance to beat Trump. That is the most important quality, according to the last CNN poll. And my question to you, and I put this to all Democratic candidates, why are you the best Democratic candidate in your mind to beat President Trump, better in your mind than the other Democratic candidates? Well, you know, first off, um, Trump doesn't, re uh, doesn't deserve to be reelected. Um, America has lost his footing um, internationally, and um, he's made a lot of promises that haven't been kept um, in for America. Um, but when you look about, when you look at mayors, uh, mayors get the job done. We don't have the luxury to shut down our governments. And when you look at what we're doing in the city of Miramar in terms of bringing high wage jobs um, to America, taking jobs away from China, um, we're actually um, taking head on um, issues in terms of gun control, um, issues in terms of our, um, our environment. Um, these are really important issues. And America needs an uh, uh, individual who will look at the issues that are important to the American people with the sense of urgency of today. Um, the gradualism is not accepted. Mm -hmm. And I'm not convinced um, that the solutions are coming from Washington. And so, that's why I think why the, the polls are showing that um, the American mm -hmm. people are looking for someone who has actually done the work let me and are closest to the people and can beat Donald Trump. Let me ask you, one of the major issues Issues that you are running on is student debt uh, and erasing to a certain yes. extent student loans 1.3 trillion dollars in student debt that is out there how are you gonna do that well, you know, when you look at the $1.5 trillion in student, outstanding student loan debt, it's crippling um, American people, it's, it's hampering our economy. There's been a lot of talk about high costs for access to college. But before um, we, of course, those are important issues, but we have to address the $1.5 trillion that Americans owe right now. Um, and when you contemplate um, the nearly $2 trillion in tax cuts um, to the rich and to corporations, um, a repeal of that is more than enough resources to be able 
able to handle that outstanding debt. Let's give American people a second chance at that American dream, the same American dream that attracted my parents to this country and that I'm having the ability to, to lead. And American people deserve a, a shot um, to be able to make the decisions like to buy a home, um, to be able to have access to health care. Mm -hmm. You know, seniors are actually making the decision whether to fill their prescription or to buy some food to eat. America, we are better than that. And we need the leadership that will make these issues a priority and have the political will to solve these issues for the American people. Mayor May, uh, Wayne Messam uh, from Miramar, Florida, thank you for being with us. We wish you the best of luck and look forward to continuing this conversation. Thank you, and I look forward to getting our message out to the American people. Thanks, Mayor.